What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another edition of Sports to the Wire. For those of you who are new to the channel, I am your host, as always, Rushy White. All right, so we're going to do another. You wanted it. You got it. We're going to do another actual Dreamers Pro reaction over here because this dude, I, I tell you, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's America. Everybody actually has a voice, I believe. It's just unfortunate that they give anybody a voice and then people actually believe the nonsense over here so he's basically calling ben simmons a bomb and a, uh, and trash and i said it from the very beginning i did the video uh before the season started i said hey ben simmons is going to it's going to take some time he's going to have he's going to average about five points six something points a game it's going to be a slow progression he had back surgery then he had a knee injury um, which is, I mean, especially if you don't play in like a year and a half, really, I mean, you're going to have some type of an injury, of course, to those lower extremities, especially in today's NBA. So I say around game 14 or 15, he's going to start, you'll start seeing him get to like maybe 12 or 13, 14, maybe 15 points. And then about 25 games in, 30 games in, he should look like 90%, 90, 90 of his old self. And then about maybe 50 something, 55 games in, you'll actually start seeing the real Ben Simmons. So obviously this dude never played basketball before. And same thing with Shannon Sharp. They just don't understand it. They don't get it, man. Unless you're a real hooper. I'm talking, I'm talking about a real hooper. Now, somebody that goes out there and really plays basketball, then you really, really, truly understand what I'm actually saying. So I called it right. And let's hear what Mr. Dreamers Pro over here has to say, Mr. Uh, Carlton from, I mean, Charleston. Damn, I keep forgetting this guy's, he, he looks like Carlton from Fresh Prince though. So he was doing a, By down the strip. he was doing a Shannon Sharp, uh, embarrasses Skip Bayless on live TV. So he's just trying to invoke an emotional response out of you. And he shoots and he makes. Oh, huh, interesting. Okay. And he shoots and he missed that one. That was the first of the next two. And yet, he had the guts to stand there after he missed one, and he switched the next one. They all looked pretty good to me. They all looked like he wasn't uh, afraid at the moment the way he has looked before. And okay. obviously, that's what ruined him in Philadelphia was being what was running for the late game free throw. Line. You think teams going to stop following him no. in that situation? No, I do not. But if that was a big start and a good start. And all I'm right, so Shannon Sharp, you do realize, I'm, I, I mean, I did the video where I was, uh, you know, reacting to Dreamers Pro over here to Charleston. And he was saying, like, oh, Ben Simmons can't score. Uh, I showed a bunch of highlight clips, and a lot of those clips were him in the fourth quarter closing games out. So if he was, if he was such a bad free throw shooter, and he always oh, scared at a moment, how the hell is he still in the game then in the closing moment? Let's just go on. I like what he said after the game. The other thing was that overall, I loved what Kevin Durant said in the he said Ben Simmons was incredible, and I don't think Kevin's just spewed out a bunch of phony baloney words, but he said, after the game, Kevin said, tonight I think he did a good job just talking it up, commanding the offense, commanding the team on the defensive side of the ball. He contributed, I'm sorry, he controlled the game and was able to get us back into it. So it, Kevin is saying he's controlling the game. Well, that, that's what he, that's why he made three straight all-star teams and two first team all defense. I see you understand that an uh, all-star is not garbage. He actually made an all-star team, you know, that's only privy to a certain group of players. He what, controlled the game. What did Kevin say the night before? Okay, well, obviously they get blown out. So you heard the exchange between Skip and Shannon there. Um, first, first of all, I don't see how that's embarrassing Skip Bayless. I, I don't get it. Again, he's just trying to invoke an emo emotional response out of you. So well, let me just tell you guys that I think everything that Skip said about uh, about Ben Simmons <clears throat> is, a, is, a, is an absolute uh, comedy skit. Like Saturday Night Live uh, material. Also, oh, the fact that he made three all-star teams, that's a comedy skit? Dude, what, yo, all right, let me try that. I'm trying to keep, I'm trying to keep this clean. Joke. Um, I want to remind the people in the audience of exactly what Ben Simmons is doing this season, okay? Ben Simmons, in 11 games played, 
is scoring 6.6 .6 points per game. 6.6. .6. He's shooting 53% from the field, but it's very easy to shoot 53% when you're attempting 5.3 field goals a game and making 2.8. That is... It's a new offense. He's playing with Kevin Durant. He's playing with Kyrie Irving. They actually have to... They actually have to know how to play together. That's one of the things, too. It's a new offense. They have to... All right, let me let, me let him finish. Five I don't want to keep the video too long. Goal attempts <clears throat> that he was attempting last season. And last season, his numbers act actually dipped. This season, he's shooting 0% from the three, and I'm going to get to that stat in a moment. He's shooting 52% from the, from the free throw line. And Skip was up there talking about he walked up to the free throw line and hit those free throws with confidence are you freaking kidding me he's getting you 6.7 rebounds 5.7 assists 2.1 turnovers which is good and one steal per game and ben simmons <clears throat> has now been relegated to becoming a bench player oh. he's only playing a bench until kyrie urban actually gets back once kyrie urban actually gets back more than likely, I should say a 95% probability that he'll actually start. You need somebody to actually run the second unit. I mean, when Kevin Durant, actually, right now, between Kyrie Irving actually being out, uh, Kevin Durant is like your, your, your point guard in a sense, though. And then when Kevin Durant actually has to rest, you need somebody to actually run the second unit. Because you see, like, Joe Harris is not a guy who can make high percentage passes. Same thing with Seth Curry. They need to be set up in a sense, though. I mean, this dude is really, really stupid, man. He just doesn't know the game at all. It, it means it's a real... I'm trying to be nice over here. Again, I really don't want to, like, diss content creators. We, we kind of... You know, him and I should kind of be on the same side. But he's like another talking media parrot. I want to factor that in as well. This was an all NBA defensive type of guy now being relegated to the to a player coming off the bench. Think about that for a second. Here's another thing I want to point to. I have nothing against Ben Simmons. Nothing personal. I don't really? <laughs> you think? I don't, I don't believe that. I think he really does have something against him. He doesn't like him for whatever weird reason. Oh, no, I don't care. No, I don't care. The issue I have is <clears throat> his lack of development when you compare him to other NBA players and the people that try to make excuses for him not to improve. He's 6'11", 240-something pounds. He's really, I mean, powerful. I mean, he's a matchup nightmare. Most of the point guards in the NBA are about 6'3", 6'4". He's damn near a seven-footer. Why the F do you want him to actually take threes? Why? Joe Harris, because his lack of finishing ability, needs to shoot threes. Ben Simmons can overpower people. It's the same thing with Shaquille O'Neal. Even if Shaq could actually shoot threes, let's say if he was like 41% from three, with the, phys with, 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 the, with the physical frame he still has, do you want him still shooting three-pointers? Jesus Christ, man. This dude is really stupid, man. That's my issue. Ben Simmons in five seasons has only made five three-point shots. So what? In this NBA today, where teams are where teams are attempting, I believe around thirty-four to thirty-five three-pointers a game, he's only made. Four. All right, so then he gets mad and actually says, "Oh, they shoot too many threes. They shoot too many threes." And then when you have a player that doesn't shoot any threes, now all of a sudden he's like, "Oh." Well, he doesn't shoot enough threes. I mean, you see the hypocrisy over here, man? Five. That's the first issue. The second issue, when you compare Ben Simmons to other players that came into the NBA that have improved over time, he's not one of them. If you A three-time All-Star. Two-time defensive all a uh, uh, player of the year. Okay, yeah, he's not one of them. He didn't make three All-Star teams. Not just one. He made three consecutively <laughs> look at players like Giannis if you look at players like um, oh, you look at players like Giannis you look at players like oh my gosh you look at players like Paul George 
players like Pascal Siakam, so many other players, John Morant, Luka Doncic, these guys have been actually improving. In the case of Ben Simmons, he's actually staying the same. He's not improving at all. And that is the reason why whenever... I don't know, man. I'm going to do some B-roll footage of this. And it has Ben Simmons in practice and shooting threes. I mean, I don't know what he's, talk what he's talking about. I mean, just... Skip and Shannon talk about Ben Simmons. It usually turns into a laugh a -thon for Shannon Sharp. Because the whole thing... If you're seriously trying to make a case for Ben Simmons, you got to be joking. There's no way... You can defend a guy that's averaging less than 10 points a game when two seasons ago... He was All right, I'm going to wrap this up, man. He, he had injuries. He's coming off a of surgery. He didn't play he, he didn't play in a year and a half. There's a cardio aspect to this. He has to get his confidence. I mean, if I don't play basketball in a long time, I'm not going to just come out there and just... I, I, if you look at Kawhi Leonard, he just came off a of knee surgery. He's not going to be scoring 25 points a game. There's going to be ups and downs. He has to get his win. He has to get his cardio. This dude never played basketball before. I don't know why do y'all listen to this dude. Why do y'all listen to him? Well, how many views he has on this joint, man? Like, uh, 11,000 views. Stop listening to him. He is not a basketball analyst. He is a typical, pro-typical fanboy. That's it. These are the people I argue with that never played ball. I played basketball. I mean, it's, it was my life. I go to work, come home and hoop, playing three, four games, five games a day, six games a day, played in tournaments, played in men league, men's leagues. Um... He's not a hooper, man. He wouldn't understand. If you not didn't really truly play basketball, he would not get it. He's not a hooper. I think he played, he ran track and field, man. I mean, just stop listening to this dude. This dude is a, 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 a bona fide clown, a straight clown. And the only thing he's actually missing is the makeup and the clown suit. I mean, this dude is a straight freaking clown who doesn't know nothing about basketball, anything. I mean, I listen to some of his stuff. I mean, some of the stuff he's just saying is like right on par with Nick Wright. I don't. I mean, I think he's either. I just think he's trying to invoke an emotional response out of you guys. But reading his body language, I think he's really truly serious. He just don't know the game. Just like most people, you got to be out there. Just like the beat reporters, the beat writers, they don't know it. They don't play. You know, they don't understand if you have a lower extremity. In I mean, he's not going to tell you that, too. What is he going to say? Oh, I'm dealing with a knee injury. So the opposing uh, 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 um, the opposing player can go at him. He ain't going to tell you that. He he's not going to say anything to you. This dude is a straight clown. Stop listening to him, please. All right. So uh, I'm sorry, guys. I mean, if you like the video, please like, comment, subscribe. Certainly share this video. And let me know if you want me to do more um a reaction videos to bozo the clown here peace